Hello and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, where today we have got a tomb to travel through while Ricky dances. He, he does that a lot. Good job, Ricky. So let's get going here. We got a lot of things to grab. Like this. And of course, we've also got things to fight, like this. ability, but whatever. We're fine. Not bad at all. Everyone do good. Yes, Ricky, everyone do good. And no, we didn't have to come into this little corner, but we didn't have to not come in here. And I like to fully explore places in video games. It's a thing. Hey, Dumban, don't die. Oh, okay, I guess you can fall down before I finish casting speed on you. Am I gonna have to put Sharla back in the party? I mean, Ricky is definitely going to be able to take over her job by the end of the game. But right now it is a little early for that. Oh, I guess I used shield for nothing because the thing that was going to attack us died. Well, Ricky, those weren't as easy as you seem to be implying, considering Dunban went down, but okay. Yes, hello. I really don't like when they move out from in front of me when I'm using backslash. Might as well get these guys aggroed as well so that we don't have to enter combat multiple times. You know, Ricky's not alone in loving chain attack. Wait, why why no Dunban? Oh, he's confused. Dunban. Come on, man. I'm going to have to take a look at what abilities Ricky actually has on him. Because he's doing a particularly bad job at certain things. So I guess it's partially because he's focusing on this thing instead of the one I was attacking. Not bad. 
Yeah, yeah. Wow, we just heard four not bads in a row. Okay, Ricky, what do you have? Okay, this is all fine. He's just not doing so good at it. Um, yeah, we want another happy happy. Because it is good. The Lurgy would be better for damage. How about Dunban? Does he need anything more? Eh, not quite yet. Almost there. Might as well give that to Shulk. So he is now done leveling up everything until he gets more books. I mean, he hasn't leveled up all these, but most of these aren't worth leveling up. And by most, I mean literally all but shield. And, well, Buster is worth leveling up, but not right now. And we don't have to go down this way, but... There's collectibles here. Oh, cool. Dunban got arts sealed before he could topple a thing. Ricky's doing a pretty good job of finding items for us. I wonder why he's failing to steal stats instead. get it down before the laser happens. Good. Yeah, let's go. Because if memory serves, there is something useful in that room over there. May or may not serve, but if it does... Wow. Less than 10k from a backslash is... not great. Though, is that just me being used to my other file, or is that actually it being low for this file. I don't even know. Nothing can beat Ricky. Dunban, you're embarrassing Ricky. Is he embarrassing Ricky? Ricky just said nothing could beat him. Okay, if there is anything in here, it's inside that or in that collectible. So I guess we're going in here. Blossom Dance is real good, but not in this particular moment, because as soon as we get the first hit on, it would end. Whereas it's like the third hit that does AoE stuff. So yeah, just Soaring Tempest. And Lurgy is AoE. And we're not going any further. Unfortunate. Dumban, you need some help. I'm 
Unfortunately, Rapid Lasers is an ether move, so yeah, nothing we can do about it. Why do you gotta be aggroed onto Shulk? That's better. Alright, we got another antenna for our troubles. And sure, we could take either one of the little stairwells down. But I like to take this path. I mean, sure, there would be more Andoses. Well, actually, with these two being both useful for quests, might as well. We can't lose. Try hard. Make it a swift victory. It is weird hearing Ricky's English voice actor in battle and everywhere else, really. I'm so used to the Japanese voice, which is nothing like the English voice. Like, the Japanese voice, they try and make him sound more like a child, which also makes it make more sense when everyone's like, wait, you're 40 or whatever? And you've got a bunch of kids? Like, it makes more sense that everyone's surprised then. But here he sounds like... Like he's a very enthusiastic middle-aged man who is trying to sound young to entertain children or something. Hey. Dumbass, get over here. Okay, fine. You can recover on your own without my help, then. Well, that's a robot, not a monster. I mean, I guess robots can be monsters, but... I don't normally think monster when I see robot. And unfortunately, the hard light bridges don't show up for us, so we gotta take this path. At least there's a collectible on the way for us. And one that we can use, too. Hi, Dunban. That is a big ball of something. You're not wrong. He'd look fun and sparkle. <laughs> it's not attacking us, at least. Oh. What's happening? Hey, look at that! Another defense mechanism. At a guess, we're looking at the team's guard. We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. We can't let this thing stop us. No problem. Time to break my record. So I'd just like to point out that literal seconds after Shulk said it's not attacking us, it attacked us. Oh, 
All right, let's get a chain attack going. We want to get this thing broken. And then toppled. And then I guess Ricky can... Oh, it's already... Or no, it's not poisoned. It's bleeding and it's cold, but not poisoned. I really wish we were getting more than just single round chain attacks, though. There's a lot more we can do if we can get more than one round. And dang, that was not a very long topple. Well, hopefully we can get another chain attack built up pretty soon. Oh, this guy sure is charging a lot real quick. That seems potentially bad for us. And the fact that Ricky stole strength is fantastic, because when he steals strength, he's literally just stealing damage from the enemy. Because enemy physical damage is based entirely on their strength number. So as that number gets smaller, so does their damage. Anyone would think we're not wanted. Are we ever going to find her? I think you'll find we had to take the long way because somebody pushed a certain button. Hmm, somebody mean Ryan. Shut it, hairball. It was just a button. Relax. She will be fine. This route will lead us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. We've got to hurry. There's no time to lose. Yeah, like, specifically for strength reductions on enemies, a 20% reduction on strength is a 20% reduction on physical damage output. It is the only thing that goes into their physical damage, so... Yeah, it's real nice when Ricky steals it. He lowers it for them and increases it for himself. It's great. Though admittedly, it's less useful for Ricky than it is for them. 20% more strength for Ricky does not directly translate to 20% more damage for him, because his weapon is also part of the calculation. And now we got more of these. Hey, uh, Dumbam, why don't you use your topple art? This thing was day or er, not days, broken for a good while. And you just refused to use your topple art. I don't like that. There it is. Seriously, Dumbam, your topple art's good. Make sure that things are toppled when you can have them be toppled. Also, note how that little doorway isn't covered in blinding light like this one. It's almost as though there's a path behind it. And what do you know there is? It's a path that we're going to actually have to go down twice over the course of the game. I mean, we don't have to go down it twice. We could skip it this time and then only go later when we've got the quest to get a thing from in there. Because it's one of those quests where the thing doesn't show up until you're on the quest. But, see, Dumban, if you're going to use your topple art, I'd prefer if you used it on the thing I was targeting so that I could actually get to it and daze it in time. Because unfortunately, Shulk's daze art has a very long wind-up. But yeah, quest item down this path doesn't exist until you're on the quest. So you gotta go down the path twice if you come down it the first time you come in without being on the quest. But hey, ruby glasses are fantastic and the summon bolt book is 
it, it is really good for Melia. Like, it's not the best thing in the world. Like, Bolt is not her best elemental. But it is a good one, especially while you're still this early in the game. Like, once you can... Well, once you get her Earth and Ice elementals and then level those up, then those easily beat Summon Bolt. Easily. But until then... Okay, I believe... Oh, that's just... As a talent art, we can block that with shield, but... I believe the better way to block it is this. Would have preferred if it wasn't targeting Shulk, but we'll live. And looks like it's not bleeding. I mean, this is a back attack, so we might as well. And of course we don't get another round, because we never get another round. Oh, and Dunban used his topple art to extend the topple. That's always nice. All right, what are we using now? Still the same thing. That's fine. Shield can block it. All right, let's use a chain attack and finish this, just like Dunban said. Uh, let's use Gale Slash. Really should have used his talent art, but then again, looks like we got a chain. Alrighty. Yeah, that was definitely a path worth going down, because as soon as we've got Melia, the two things that were in it are going to be very good for her. And they're going to stay good for her for a good long while, too. I like how Dunban interrupted his line to praise Shulk there. Also, hey, remember that mini boss we fought a little bit a little bit a low, little bit ago. Yeah, the mini boss that we fought just moments ago. The Orluga thing. Rufus or Luga, I think it was called. Yeah. Or or Luga Rufus, I'm sorry. Yeah, now it's not a mini boss, it's just a standard enemy and it's much weaker. This is the fastest in any game I have ever seen a mini boss go from mini boss to standard enemy. And they weakened it so significantly too. And unfortunately, managed to call friends, but we'll live. Or I guess it managed to call friend. I'm pretty sure it was capable of calling, too. But it didn't, so I guess count our blessings. So hopefully the Orluga actually dropped a specific thing. Good. We're going to need three of these, I think. Yep. 
Okay, we're gonna need three of those. And there's only, I think, two spawn points for Orluga Rufus. And yes, we could go down there, but it's useless to us until much later in the game. So we're not going down there. So yeah, there's one Orluga Rufus spawn point right there. There's another right here. Those are the only ones, so you literally have to rely on respawns in order to get the three control units. Thankfully, respawns are easy enough. You just need to go to a landmark and then respawns happen. Oh, I was kind of hoping to get this before the emergency alarm went off, but we'll live. Ah, this one got two friends. Well, it's in front of us, so let's just use this. That was disappointingly low damage. But I guess these guys have physical defense, so... Oh well. Don't be confused, Dunban. Alright, Orluga, give us a control unit. Yeah! Just need one more of those. And this is not the key path, but it does have a collectible or two, so... Climb we shall. Sure is a good thing this button doesn't reject us. Because we did just press another button that looked pretty much the exact same without thinking. If it had made this bridge disappear and all the stuff below it, we would have been in a bad place. Also, it's a good thing the last light bridge Melia took remained active. Because otherwise, the game would basically be over. Or at least Melia's part of the game would. Oh, dang it. I was supposed to swap Shulk out of the party before this. But then again, having him in the party helps with that. I guess it lets us move the party around. That's great. Whoop. Well, no. Meant to grab Melia. And then, yeah, Sharla might not be the worst choice. Let's go Ether Party. Ether Party's good. What do we got? Skill trees going on. Okay, chill time up. We got that. That's great. Um, I mean... Greatly increasing ether is good. 50 ether is not bad by any stretch. But this will definitely help us out a lot going forward in the game. And it's only going to take like 1,000 more points to get this unlocked than it will this from here. So yeah, I, I think let's go honesty for a bit. Oh, Dunban's done with his prudence tree. What was I even going down it for? Right. Critical drain is amazing. And we don't care about no armor. Increased double attack is good. 
I guess we'll go here until we get that. And Shulk is just going. And Ryan is just going. How about arts? Oh, wow. Melia has got a lot of points to spend. Well, summon copy is the most important one that we currently have. And then Summon Bolt is next. Summon Wind is nice and all. It's basically an AoE version of Bolt. And the agility is nice, but Summon Wind itself is not amazing. Still, I guess it's better than Shadow Stitch. Shadow Stitch is bad. And we can afford to level it up a little bit. There. Ooh, Ricky can afford to level things. Or at least Thing. We definitely also want that next point of hero time. Or do we? Yes, because it does increase the stat gain as well. Even though hero time is currently at the point where it can have 100% uptime. Having that stat increase is good. And Lurgy we also want to level up because poison damage is good, good, good. And then... We could level Thunderbullet. We could. I mean, what the heck else are we going to do? Cure Bullet? Yeah, Cure Bullet. Reducing the cooldown on Cure Bullet is actually very good. At least for certain fights. And with that, we can live. Are we? Nope, we're not allowed to change her hat yet. Though we can give her a rod with much better damage. Doesn't have the 25% electric plus, but it does have a more than 25% increase in top end damage. And bottom end damage. So yeah, this will end up making her electric attacks do more than 25% more damage anyway. Equipped. Do we have a better thing for you? No, we don't. And for you? Nope. Okay. Let's actually fight this thing. Hey, you sleep. Oh, she's immune to sleep. Of course she's immune to sleep. I really need to use Burst End before the other thing. I need to. Do I need to get rid of Tyrea first? She's being very rude to Charla, and I don't appreciate that. Oh, I can't even swap targets to her because we're locked onto the Telethia. Not much I can do about that. But we can do this. And now we can get a nice strong bolt. Not bad. Oh, good. Now we can actually start targeting Terra. It's a little unfortunate that the Telethia wants to target Melia, but we should be fine. Oh, great. It locked us on again. Can this thing be put to sleep? I doubt it. Yeah, of course not. Ooh, I don't like that. Also, who knew that predation meant just flopping down on top of something? 
Okay, Charlotte, please help need. Well, I guess uh, we lose. Specifically because Tyrea decided to just wander over and execute us. Yeah, I didn't want to use Shulk because as soon as the Telethi is gone, he becomes useless. But it might still be a good idea to have him. Or maybe Dunban would be a better choice than Ricky. That's possible. Actually, no, Melia, her damage just isn't there yet. So let's go with this party. Sure, Shulk's going to be worthless as soon as the Telethia is gone, but the Telethia is by far the bigger threat. I will not let the throne be sullied. Oops, used the wrong slash. Why did I backslash her? Hey, no. You gotta be happier, buddy. It is indeed chain attack time. No. There we go. Alright, and since I used the chain attack before it used predation, it prevented any toppling. That's good. So, let's go ahead and get this thing toppled. And... Do I want to do damage? It won't be much damage. I think we'll be better served by applying a shield to her, because it looks like Terea wants her dead. And of course we don't get a chain. Or rather a link. Wow, that topple did not last long at all. Yeah, this thing must have reduced topple duration. See, I don't like this force topple on everyone in the party thing. Especially when Dunban's almost dead, and then is dead. Dunban, we need you alive. We need you alive too, Sharla. Oh, cool. Shulk had aggro on both of them for a bit. We don't like that. I know I'm in front of it, but I'm just trying to do damage so it dies. Unfortunately, Shulk's value here starts and ends with getting her toppled. Or at least broken for the topple. So, let's go ahead and just give him speed, because why the heck not? Gets us our first chain bonus thing. Though, it's not really that helpful. Just do damage. Dang it. Why do we never get more links? I need more links. I guess... Shulk can steal strike to reduce her defense if I actually make sure to get all the way beside her before using it. 
And he can also slow her with that. When she doesn't resist it, of course. Go fast. Come on. Yeah, just in time. Well, I guess she stood back up, but whatever. We can knock her back. Oh, let's actually do this. Blossom Dance is huge damage, and since it's a talent dart, it means that this will also do increased damage thanks to the chain counter increasing. Hooray! Shulk, just stop auto-attacking, please. I'd love it if I could just move around at will without needing to get too far to auto-attack her. But no, Shulk just loves auto-attacking, even though he's constantly bouncing. I would have laughed if that air slash got the kill. you come the Monado gave me a warning that you were in danger I'm just glad we made it hey Shulk whoever that was is gone so they escaped Shulk everyone I thank you you saved me Ricky, smiley, smiley, Millie, all safe, all thanks to Hero Bone. Oh, oh. That's not how I remember it, Cheese Ball. And that concludes my report on events in the tomb. Hmm. So, there are forces working in the shadows. However, this is purely circumstantial. Nothing can be proven. Hmm. Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. Dedicated and devoted to the Bionis. The Order was dissolved under the rule of the Emperor Lumion, 47th successor to the throne, due to its extreme practices. Like puppet masters pulling the strings from the shadows. I believe their bloodline was lost to the ages. Her Highness the First Consort is currently residing in the Tower of Investigation. The Ministry of Investigation's judgment should be imminent. Well, that may not be enough. I myself must shine a light on the truth. Agreed. Mother. Melia. Your Majesty. You have returned unharmed from the tomb. The forefathers have spoken. But if it hadn't been for Shulk... Kallion has informed me of what happened. There is no reason to doubt your legitimacy to the throne. Believe in yourself, Crown Princess. Brother. Tomorrow will be the investiture ceremony. At the appointed time, you will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. Melia, my child, 
I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Homs bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. Oh, Ricky and friends help save Melly. Ricky very happy. We're all relieved. But something's still bothering me. What is it? Why was Melia chosen as the crown princess? Shouldn't Callion have been the one to ascend? And her foe in the tomb clearly opposed that decision. You have a point. Callion is more than a worthy candidate. What reason could they have for choosing Melia? And why would Callion go along with this? It's a mystery. Our apologies. His Majesty the Emperor summons you. Finally! He's gonna let us into Prison Island. Yeah. His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. He asks that you join him shortly. Alright, well, that is gonna be it for this episode. Join us next time when we go have our audience with His Majesty and see if we can go to Prison Island. See you then, friends.